The deal's been announced. Tell us about it. It's announced. Cisco is buying NDS, which is a company which makes mainly, they, it's, now they're, they're into software that is uh, involved in security for set-top boxes, you know, that many of us use to watch digital television. This is a company that's um, actually owned by our parent, News Corp, along with Premiera, which is a private equity firm over here in London. Um, so, you know, Cisco, which has actually been quiet for a few years on the acquisition front, has been making noise lately that they're ready to get back on it, and they clearly are, you know, officially in back in the M&A business. Yeah, uh, Dana, I was going to say, I, it, it looks like Cisco is returning to its, uh, uh, it, its, its roots as a company that grows by buying, uh, and, uh, of course, as, as a former shareholder, back when I was allowed to own stock in these kinds of companies, <laughs> I would sit there and watch every time uh, Cisco did a deal, the stock would be diluted or they'd get pounded and things would never meet expectations. So they're back out there again uh, uh, buying this new technology. Uh, it, it, do you think that this is going to, um, or, or, is this, uh, or is this a harbinger of more deals in the tech sector, or is this Cisco just being Cisco again? Okay, well, first of all, I think that it's a harbinger probably of Cisco doing more deals. Yeah. Um, the tech sector in general has actually been, you know, a surprising bright spot over the last few years of doldrums in global M&A. So I would imagine also the tech sector will, will, con will continue to consolidate. But it will be interesting to see, you know, you bring up a good point about, you know, past reaction to Cisco M&A. It would be interesting to see, you know, how Cisco stock does today, what the analyst reaction is. But, you know, if you talk to some people close to this, close to this one, they say that this is a high quality company they're buying. It's actually performed quite well in the last few years as a private company. And uh, Cisco has gotten it for a relatively reasonable price. Um, again, that's what people you know, close to it say. We'll see whether the market buys that. Mm. So where does this put Cisco in terms of its competitors? How does this give them an edge in terms of this technology that they're buying? Yeah, well, you know, they've, this is an area with, you know, they've, 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 they've been in in the past. You know, if you remember sev several years ago, it was a famous deal Cisco did for Scientific Atlanta, which actually makes the set-top boxes, mm -hmm. so, so not totally um, unrelated. But, you know, that's a deal that, you know, um, as you guys were alluding to before, has been, you know, met with mixed reviews. But, you know, it looks like instead of kind of retreating from that area, they're, they're doubling down on it a bit. All right, well, I, look, I think if you're a Cisco shareholder, you don't mind them doing deals as long as they don't overpay and they just don't buy things willy-nilly, which is what, you know, that company used to have sometimes announce two deals a day. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, you know, it'll be sorry. interesting to watch going forward. The, the other thing is, you know, they're known for doing little deals. This is a relatively big, yeah. big deal for them. Yeah. The other thing to keep in mind is they are minting money. So, you know, it's conceivable <laughs> that the, the point they make to their shareholders is we have so much cash coming in, we've got to do something with it. Um, you know, this is a, this is a viable option. I wish I had that problem, David, don't you? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> and so you, you mentioned before that this doesn't necessarily mean that we may be seeing other deals in the tech sector. So this is so, something you, know, you think specific to Cisco rather than some of its competitors maybe jumping in and, and doing some deals in terms of the fact that perhaps a, a sign that the economy is improving, these companies feel that it's, it's okay now to take these kinds of steps. Yeah, no, no, I think this could be a harbinger both for additional Cisco deals and more tech sector consolidation, because we've seen some interesting tech deals even in the M&A doldrums over the, next, over the last few years. You've got to believe if M&A really starts to come back in, for, in force, there's a very good chance tech will be in the forefront.